Yeah, let's see how it plays out. We're playing on Warhead Junction. We have a, a very mobile draft with four semi-melee, Merlin, Greymane, Karazim, and Hogger, with Crystal Maiden slash Jaina in the back, who has the Blizzard damage, the, the slows, the AoE damage. They have much more of a ranged draft with Earthquake, Root, Face Smelt, Endwinder, Polymorph, Junkrat, Trap, and Junkrat, Concussive to keep us away. Their big damage dealers are Thrall, Suljin, and Junkrat. Junkrat has the biggest poke, Suljin the biggest sustained range damage, and then Thrall has the melee damage. Brightwing will shut down one Diver, but unless she picks Emerald Wind at level 10, she won't shut down multiple Divers. Our healer is Karazim. I wish he could ping this. I am going to take Dwarf Block. And here I'll take Skullcracker, which is the stuns. Karazim took insight at level one, so it's going to have to take multiple uh, camps in order to get his stacks. Thank you very much for the sub, Battle Drone. Later we'll be playing Silencer and Skywrath Mage in, uh, in, in Dota and I'll be finding the ones that are most similar to it in HOTS. Skywrath Mage of course is uh, Kel'Thuzad. And Silencer. Body block, body block, body block. Oh, but I accidentally missed my bolt. That's five of them. I got my route interrupted, but there's no power slide yet. Grammy, no. How does Hotfield have to play in Dota 2? Well, chill. It's a chill uh, playing and a chill, like chill attitude for fellow players. And uh, a chill game, chill vibes. It's still fun. The heroes are a lot simpler. Yeah, when we don't have enough laning presence and all the lanes are pushed against us as they were, it's very easy for them to come in and steal a camp. Either way, Karazim still gets what he wants because he wants to stack his inside. He's got 43 stacks. You can't usually just take a camp with one person. I didn't know where it appears. This area is growing perilous. Warheads are now ready. I should uh, get the middle uh, nuke. There's two nukes at the bottom. Is Seed Stank good in the meta? Yeah. Blizzard did one more balance patch and then they practically went to AFK. And uh, the. Siege tank is now in a really strong spot. Sergeant Hammer. She saw a lot of play and bans in the CCL. The final season of CCL. I think we should uh, push out bot with the nuke. At four minutes, the nuke scale up in damage. Like right now, nuke would do how much damage? Warheads have now been collected. Select a talent. 
Electric Skullcracker. Where do I see how much damage it does? Here. Nuke? 2580. There's a lot of dying going on. Let's see how much it's uh, how much it is at level at five minutes. Oops. Does he have quests? No, he doesn't. Okay, he used his uh, he used ancestral wrath. Let's see, it's five minutes. 2,650. That's more. I'll uh, use it top. It's really hard for people to stay alive, huh? This is Slardar, yeah. This is Slardar. <laughs> I think I forgot sometimes uh, how how people have trouble reading the map in in HOTS. We all decided it's best to avoid fight verbally, but not with our play. So we have no one top, we have no one bot. Get a move on. Yeah, this map is kind of weird uh, to those that uh, only know Dota. There's a teleporter on the map. That's good, that's good. We can't get him now. Okay, I'm gonna go Avatar. Like, there's a teleporter here that goes here. Now we can kill him. If he shows up again, we can. This area is okay. growing perilous. Say the word, Blabby. Okay, I missed, I missed everything. Oh, okay. That's good. That's our first kill. Where do you heal in this game? You've got healing fountains, you can heal at home, and you have healers every game. Let's go, get Thrall. He has no Earthquake. Yeah, regeneration globes. You've got uh, six, uh, you've got seven minions here per minion wave, per creep wave in the lane. You've got uh, three melee and three range, then one wizard. The wizard carries a globe that heals a percentage of your health and mana. It's really strong. Nice. Okay, Karazim has uh, stacked. So Karazim is like a multi-level one talent hero. You can take three different talents. One gives you CDR and mana. Uh, one gives you bonus damage and one gives you uh, automatic heals on, on punches. The punches proc the trade. What does he want? Yo, thanks for the sub, Rimpy. She wanted orb? Oh, okay.
We have a camp pushing top, so that's nice. Oh, Hogger? Hogger int? I did bad there. I did really bad there. I did nothing. Ruthless like no. Straight into the trap. I'll take the nuke. Or not. Oh my my stormbolt accuracy is terrible. <laughs> Good. We almost got him. Okay, ever since I cursed my accuracy, I've been hitting them. Should curse more. Frack. safe yeah Whew, that was close yeah i am trying that rimpy that's correct uh but there's not really a big equivalent to them let's see dwarf launch i'll take dwarf launch i guess uh, okay i became his potential jump away point but he didn't need it Here's your glove, Jaina. Still got enough kills, right? I think we still got enough kills. Ah, I made bright wing TP, even though, even though I didn't hit my storm bolt, it still made bright wing use her Z, which is a resource. That's nice. Um, actually, it's just bright wing and junkrat on the hellbat camp. Oh, they. Took it fast, man. Shotgun Junkrat. So fast. Why not? Mm. I should be told. Jaina on wrong side of town. Not worth to jump in anymore. Annihilate 
Take vision. They're safe. That's earthquake. Just leave. Just leave. Whenever they earthquake, just run. Like, we're gonna get a resource. We already have Grey Main Bolt, and we have one dead. So when you attack Thrall and he panics and earthquakes, that's a win already. I know I'm just... I know I'm probably not speaking to my teammates because I'm not using force chat, but I'm teaching you guys. I tend to try to not teach my teammates during the game because it usually don't work. We must defend our ally. I mean, I'll, I'll try to like do a ping, like let's go back, something like that. This area is growing perilous. Uh, no, these are our levels. That's not our kill score. The 1919 is our level. Skill score is 912. Day 12, us 9. Kills don't matter here in this game. You don't get gold for it, you get XP. This, is, this is the number you see, not the kill count, because that's the number that matters. That's your XP. You get it from passive XP, buildings, creeps, uh, mercenary camps, which is jungle creeps, and, uh, and hero kills, and objectives. Oh, I am on my way. They're wasting too much damage on me. I'm dead. Did, I think my Stormbolt missed on Zuljin, or maybe he's dead. Oh, he's still dead. He didn't. He didn't touch Dingo. All right, three for one. So now we're level 2020. That's where you get your storm tier talent. So let me show Dota players uh, kind of like the choices you make on a hero. They're not as extensive as on a Dota 2 hero, but there's still some customization. So I've got my storm bolt, which is a stun. It become at level 10, it becomes a double stun. Uh, and then uh, thunderclap is AOE damage and slow, and attack speed slow. Uh, e is just an engage that also does a armor uh, increase for me for a short period. It's a little bit of damage, and you can spec into it for more benefits. Then at level 1, when the game begins, you can choose either every time you auto attack people, your Stormbolt will end up doing more permanent damage. This is an uncapped quest, but it's kind of shit. But a lot of people take it because they think they're gods and they can get a lot of auto attacks and bonus Stormbolt damage. Or when you jump in, you get four block charges, which is like stout shield, poor man shield, let's say. And then third wind is when you're out of combat, heal extra. Now I'm going to pick rewind, which is refresher orb. Be dead. No. Lucky. We're not quite ready yet. Any teammate? Yeah. Maybe I should wait a second more, but then they're gonna get our camp and they're gonna get away. We have Divine Palm. Are we gonna lose Hogger without Divine Palm? Like, bro. What? How's everyone dying with Divine Palm now? Protect our ally. What the f What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> 5v4. Four people in a row died. We have an ult that can save someone. It's like Oracle ult, but you can't die. Like, anyway. All right, oh, it's okay, GG. Yeah, it's 5v4. Uh, they just left your core. We're all full life and health. They take our bruiser camp on the way out, which is a really common thing to do. If you let them get away, then you let them get away, which you still have a win chance. 
Like, we didn't need to fight them there. We didn't need to. But we can, and they're doing something dumb. Taking our bruiser on the way out. It's just dumb and risky, because we're all there. So, uh, it's 5v4. Obviously, I'm going to try to catch them, because, well, it's an opportunity to fight 5v4, which is the best advantage you can have in hearts. There's two kinds of advantages you can have, or well, three, let's say. You can have the map advantage, the opponent had it. They had four forwards, we had two. They killed our top keep. The most important keep, because that's where the boss lane is. So, map advantage, numbers advantage, who has more heroes with them, and the level advantage. Level is the same, we're both like level 20 plus, right? So we all have storm tier talents. Every time you have a higher level, like you're 21 against 20, that's a 4% power level. You have 4% more healing, 4% more health, 4% more mana, 4% more spell damage, 4% more auto attack damage. So that's the difference for one level. It means two levels are like what? 8.2, 8.4, 8.8%, something like that, right? Because it, 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 it stacks. Uh, so they were maybe 21, we were 20. That means that they have 4% advantage. And then you've got like, do you have active heroic or ult cooldowns? Yes or no? Well, we had Divine Palm. Uh, I think we had Horde Bolt. I was still on Avatar. So we have so several ults that we can use. And then it's, how many people do you have in the fight? Five, four, three, two, one. We were five, they were four. They didn't have their tank because he inted under our keep. So then 5v4, we are behind on the map. So that's a fight that theoretically we, we must take. And then it's like, are you taking a good fight or not? Or are you taking a bad fight? Maybe it's my bad. Maybe I took a bad fight. I knew we weren't all there immediately yet, but we were very close. But then I watched um, the healer save his ult for the next game. Protect an allied hero from death, causing them to be healed for 1200 if they take fatal. So this is a kind of a skillful ult that you cast on a hero, on your ally when they drop low, and then they will be like in stasis for half a second, and then they come back to life. So uh, yeah, anyway, we all five of us died and he didn't use it. He's like, now he's gonna use it on an ally, no? Okay, now he's gonna use it on me, no? Okay, he's gonna use it on himself, no? <laughs> On that ally? No? Okay. But I mean, uh, yeah, we all tried and uh, overall he played like a decent game. It's just, it's unfortunate to win the 5v4 uh, at the end. We Again, we didn't have to take it. We definitely can win the game by not taking it. There's many different ways to play a game. I wanted to take it because 5v4 is a good chance. 